like, yeah, like seriously, because uh, there are certain, some questions that need to be addressed before before everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Like even even somewhere to start is what can we realistically do on campus? What's going to piss off health and safety? That's right. Like like uh, are we limited on fuel sources because that's going to influence our design quite a bit? Mm -hmm. uh, solid or liquid? Like. Okay. I just got here. I mean. No, no, no. You're right. No, you're absolutely right. So that those yeah. kind of questions are like, like universal constraints. That's kind of yeah. a good way to think about it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I I understand what you're saying. So uh, my predominant concern is what are the global constraints that we do have for the system to begin with, mm -hmm. because that's going to influence every other thing that we have underneath it. Yeah. Because. Uh, I, I've experienced this quite a bit with a bunch of projects dealing with uh, student projects in particular. Is that if you the more free for, free floating that it is, the less likely that things are going to come together. Yes, I understand and, that. And what uh, we're going to try to do to solve that is we're going to have we're defining our uh, what I've been working on personally and what I'm going to share with you guys this week is the design requirements that I've been building. So the design requirements are total system system integration requirements and subsystem requirements that are like, some of them are like related to the pressure vessels, some of them related to the testing, some of them related to health and safety, that kind of stuff, right? And also budget is a constraint too. So Cameron is very right that these kind of things can fizzle out if there's not enough structure. Or I guess if you don't know what you're, if you don't have a goal that you're pursuing that is like concrete and divisive. But we don't have deadlines or anything like that. Making so them. It can seem like pretty easy going and we're gonna make those deadlines. Obviously, they're not strict deadlines, but and like we won't like yell at you guys or anything. But I will. yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have a problem just yelling at people. No, I know. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I meant like in terms of like the general project. Like, I, like yeah, yeah. the whole purpose is just to like, like yeah. understand this for ourselves and like, to, to, like further our own comprehension. Of, of We're here to learn, but yeah, you got it. but yeah, also you got it. Seriously, because like like with tests and homework and essays or whatnot. Like, we always wait till the last fucking minute to get oh, yeah. shit done. Yeah. Yeah. We have, don't have strict um, deadlines, which is literally never gonna get shit done. Okay. Right. No, we'll make like we'll make deadlines, obviously, like strict deadlines. But when we don't have something set, like for Hyperloop, we had to go like report to SpaceX essentially like at a certain date. So we had to yeah. have like a competitions or like like when you have the comp when you're in a competition, that thing like really comes down on you. So yeah. David, want to say? Oh no, I was just gonna make a joke. Oh, do it. We're just project manager. Huh? Do it. Huh? No, you don't want to do that. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> oh, okay, right. okay, gotcha. Oh, wait, actually, yeah. Right. Right. Seriously. Like yelling at people. Uh, yeah. Uh, we would probably yeah. need you as PM or something. We'll like see. That. So you guys have been trying to, I see people are doing this already, but this is the, so, so scan this QR if you guys want. Also, you can do it on your computer later. I'm going to send out this, this presentation and you'll have the, this link. This is a Google form. This is the, the sorting hat. This is where you select your, your subsystem preference. Um, I'm going to talk more about what each one of them entails, and I have to be, point out right now that there will be overlap in the subsystems. Like, there, you can't have purely isolated subsystems. In fact, you don't want isolated subsystems because when the time comes to integrate, everything doesn't work. Right. So, we're gonna we're gonna approach everything top down. We're gonna design the system, the whole like what we're making. Everybody knows what we're making, and then we you know, start working on the subsystems, right? But these are the sub, these are the sub teams essentially because you need smaller teams. So there's small descriptions in the, the form, but the well, what the form will ask you to do is like contact info and then what your assessment of your skill level is. Like be honest for what is expected of a college student. Like we're all super it's critical of ourselves. Civil, Dan, yeah, it's really okay. <laughs> we're all super critical of ourselves. Like. Try to, try to give you an honest assessment to yourself relative to the other skills that you have online, right? And then it'll ask you how much you want to actually participate because sometimes you might be really skilled in something but you don't want to participate in it, like you're tired of it. So that'll put you in like a more consulting type of role. Or you might not know some, anything about it but you're really interested in something, then you're part of the team because that's what we're gonna learn, right? And then lastly, it asks you to pick your primary and secondary choice for subsystems. Let's talk about what they are. The propellant storage and plumbing. I, I grouped, I had injectors as a separate subsystem, but I grouped it together. And also this indent is wrong. 
<laughs> okay. Um, the propellant, propellant storage uh, and, and plumbing is the pressure vessels, all of the gas, all of the lines, all of the fittings, all of the valves, and like all of the fluid, fluid, um, yeah, the pressure and doing a lot of basically fluid theory, fluid simulation, fluid prediction, and then design of actual product, uh, actual um, hardware, and then testing the hardware too to see that it doesn't break right under the loads. Injector chamber nozzle. This is a lot. Like this is probably more important. This is probably a higher volume of work. The injector chamber nozzles. Uh, essentially the rocket engine, right? So you're, you're designing, manufacturing, and testing the, the, the part where the fuel comes in, the chamber and how the hell it's cooled, and can it resist the hoop stresses, and are you gonna have flow separation? So this is a lot of, also another, a lot of uh, supersonic fluid stuff. And uh, real, like manufacturing, and stress analysis and thermal heat transfer, that kind of stuff, right? And then the nozzle is also, like, this is all the same thing, right? In controls, I've broken them up into programming and embedded, pro programming and embedded and hardware instrumentation. Uh, this is if you want to design actuators, like pressure transducers, uh, integrating pressure transducers, thermocouples, uh, for here, the electronics, the PCBs, the controllers, um, I said, I, said, I said actuators already. Uh, and then this is the programming the control system. What we're gonna have is we're gonna have two redundant, I already told you guys this before, we're gonna have two redundant uh, systems running and they're gonna keep track of each other and see if one of them is failing and one will take over for the other if one's failed. And then these two ones are kind of, so this one is operations administration. It's not like, there might be people that want to do that exclusively, but I expect that we're all gonna be focusing on something technical, and if you want to also participate in operations and, and admin, you can. But uh, the technical is why this club exists. It's just that this needs to like, support it, right? And then the modeling and the simulation, you do modeling and simulation in all of these disciplines. So CAD and like uh, ANSYS and like, CFD, that kind of stuff. But the modeling and simulation subteam is mainly physics, writing our own Python scripts and our own models for the rocket engine, and then predicting how it's gonna behave from a physics and from an engineering point of view on a deeper level than just like than, than just like a float like a float term model or something. You know what I mean? So these teams are the bulk. This is a enabling team and kind of, um, and has overlap with everything. And this is an add-on team that keeps the organization running. So do you guys have any questions about any of the specific sub-teams right now while you're trying to decide? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I understand why simulation is separate, but why is modeling? Um, modeling, so I put it in there, like it's not like CAD. I understand how that's confusing now. It's, it's not just like, oh, it's there's, like there's a CAD monkey team and whenever you need CAD, you ask them to do it. Not really. It's more like taking the models that people already made and doing more in-depth simulation with them and more in-depth like flow modeling. And modeling from a physics point of view too, so modeling the gas flow in the, in the, in the, the supersonic gas flow in the rocket engine or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. What about any of the other ones? The controls, like you're, 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 it, it asks you for separate, but like the controls team will have a lot of interplay. Everything is going to have interplay. It's a unitary system. Yeah. It's just that we're choosing a specialization that most interests you and that would excite you the most and that would give you the most benefit long term for your goals and personal goals and career goals. So yeah. Any more questions? Oh, we're also not going to have like meetings at this time anymore. Like we're going to try to make them like more normal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this was just that on the first s collection that we did. This is when F most people seem to be able to make it. But now, because um, we're missing like ten people. It's gonna, it's going to be mainly meetings, the general meetings. It's we're going to shift to subsystem meetings. 
And next, um, over the weekend, we're gonna figure out who's in what sub, sub, sub team. And we're gonna have a meeting just with your sub team where it's gonna be me and the sub team. And I don't know, maybe well, whoever wants to come along, right? And then we're gonna do, talk about more in depth of the physics of the system, more about the requirements of the system, and more about like just kind of understanding what it is that we're trying to make. And then we're gonna have a, a couple of like dungeons assigned for each team, sub team, the next week on Slack to, to, to meet and do the research as we talked about. So we're ramping up. I don't want it to be where like nobody has, some people don't have things to do. I feel like, and then like a small group of people are doing it, because that's no fun for everyone. And nor is it the most efficient way to, to get things done. It doesn't help you guys at all. Yeah. So. yeah, so I know that the first couple of weeks, it's been like, there's nothing to do. You come to this meeting and car talks about rockets, and then you're like, oh, that's cool, and then you go back. But we're, we're really ramping up, and we're gonna focus more on the subsystems, meeting together and working, and then we'll have general meetings at some other time where we can actually all talk about the things that we've been building. So, yeah, expect that the real, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Are you gonna be joining like every subsystem? Kind of, I guess, I don't know. I'll be attending the meetings for this week, definitely, for, for all the subsystems. We'll be like, one of us will have some sort of like hand so we just know what's going on, like workload-wise, work and make sure everyone has something to do, like you said. Yeah, I'll be participating in the design of all subsystems. It's gonna take a while before like the people that are really committed are gonna 